Here, let's consider the system of nonlinear equations. Uh, x dot, or dx dt, is equal to x times 1 minus x minus 2y, and uh, y dot equals y times 1 minus 2x minus y. So what I want to do here is to find uh, all, f all the fixed points and I want to determine uh, their stability. Okay, so um, this is some function here of both x and y and this is some other function g, let's call it, of uh, x and y. So to uh, find the fixed points we set uh, f and g to 0, right? So you set f equals 0 and g equal to 0. Um, so what are the fixed points here? So we can read off some of them, right? So let's say x star and y star is the fixed points. Uh, certainly 0, 0 is a fixed point. Um, if uh, x equals 0, then uh, f is 0. And if x equals 0 and y is not equal to 0, then 1 minus y is supposed to be 0. So y is 1, is a fixed point. And the other one is if y equals 0, right? If y is equal to 0, g is 0. And if y is equal to 0 and x is not 0, then 1 minus x has to be 0, or x is equal to 1. Okay? So those are three rather simple fixed points. The last fixed point can happen if both x and y are, are not 0. So if both x and y are not 0, then we must have um, x plus 2y equal to 1 and 2x plus y has to be equal to 1. So the third fixed point, the fourth fixed point, or the, uh, so let's just say the fourth fixed point uh, satisfies, let's look at that again, uh, x plus 2y equal to 1. And the other one, x plus 2y is 1, 2x plus y equal to 1, 2x plus y equal to 1. So we have a system of two uh, linear equations and two unknowns. So let's see, how do we solve this? We multiply this one by uh, minus 2 and add them, right? So we have x uh, minus 4x or minus 3x equal to 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So x equals 1 third. And if x is equal to 1 third, then we have 2 thirds plus 1 equals 1. Uh, 2 thirds plus y equal to 1, so y also equals uh, 1 third. Okay? So we have these three fixed points, and then the fourth fixed point here will be 1 over 3, 1 over 3. Okay? So those are the uh, four fixed points. Uh, now we want to determine the stability of these fixed points. So um, the stability is determined from the Jacobian matrix. Uh, the Jacobian matrix uh, J is the, in the 2 by 2 system, is the matrix partial of F with respect to X partial of f with respect to y, partial of g with respect to x, partial of g with respect to y. Okay, And the Jacobian matrix determines then 
um, the stability of the fixed points. If uh, the eigenvalue, so you evaluate the Jacobian matrix at the fixed points, and if the um, any eigenvalue has a positive real part, then the fixed point is unstable. If uh, all the eigenvalues have negative real parts, then the fixed point is stable. Okay. So we have uh, f and y. So f is x times 1 minus x minus 2y. So f is x times 1 minus x minus 2y. And g was y times 1 minus 2x minus y. So we need to compute these uh, partials. Um, partial of f with respect to x is uh, the derivative of this with respect to x. So x, so that's 1 minus x squared 2x minus 2yx minus 2y, right? Partial of derivative of f with respect to y, this is 0, 0, so we have minus 2x. Okay. Uh, partial of g with respect to x, the derivative of y is 0, so minus 2xy becomes minus 2y. The derivative of minus y squared with respect to x is 0. And partial of g with respect to y will give us a 1 minus 2x minus the derivative of y squared is 2y. Okay, so uh, we use these in the Jacobian matrix. So we need to, um, uh, I can write the Jacobian matrix here. So the Jacobian matrix is equal to 1 minus 2x minus 2y, fx, fy minus 2x gx minus 2y, gy, 1 minus 2x minus 2y. So this is the Jacobian matrix. So we evaluate this at the four fixed points. So let's go one by one. So the first fixed point was the 0, 0 fixed point. The Jacobian at 0, 0 is 1, 0, 0, 1. The eigenvalues are 1 and 1. The eigenvalue is uh, as a real part 1, positive. So this fixed point 0, 0 then is unstable. So I will just write here unstable. So unstable means that the fixed point that we evaluated uh, J at is unstable. Okay. And then the other fixed points were 1, 0, and 0, 1, right? So j at 0, 1. So x is 0, y is 1. So 1 minus 2 is a minus 1. x is 0. y is 1 minus 2. x is 0. y is 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. This is a lower triangular matrix, so the eigenvalues are just the diagonal elements for a lower triangular matrix. The eigenvalues are minus 1 and minus 1. The real part is negative. So 0, 1 then is a stable fixed point. A stable fixed point. Okay? Uh, Let's look at 1, 0. 1, 0, uh, x equals 1, y equals 0. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. x equals 1 minus 2. y equals 0, 0. x equals 1, y equals 0. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. OK, again, it's a uh, upper triangular matrix. So the eigenvalues are just the diagonal elements. 
minus 1 and minus 1, which means that um, <coughs> the real part is negative. So 1, 0 then is a stable fixed point. Okay, stable fixed point. Okay, and then we have uh, one more fixed point. So that's the uh, 1 third, 1 third, right? x equals 1 third, y equals 1 third. So we need to compute these elements. So the first element here is 1 minus 2 thirds minus 2 thirds. 1 minus 4 thirds is minus a third. So this element is minus 1 third. The second element here is minus 2 times a third, minus 2 thirds. So we have minus 2 thirds. Down here, y is a third, minus 2 thirds again. And finally, the last one uh, is the um, same, is uh, minus one-third. Okay? So that's the uh, Jacobian matrix at one-third, one-third. That's a full matrix. So we need to compute the uh, eigenvalues of this matrix. So the uh, determinant, right, we're looking at the determinant of j uh, minus lambda i equal to zero. Uh, this is lambda squared minus the trace of this matrix. The trace is minus one-third plus minus one-third minus two-thirds. So plus two-thirds minus the trace times lambda plus the determinant. The determinant is one third, minus one-third times minus one-third, which is one-ninth uh, minus four-ninths. One-ninth minus four-ninth is minus three-ninths, which is uh, minus a third equals zero. So that's the characteristic equation of this matrix. Um, what are the uh, roots then? Um, we can just use the quadratic formula instead of trying to factor this. So uh, lambda equals negative b, negative 2 thirds, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 4 ninth minus 4ac, plus uh, Four thirds. Four thirds is uh, twelve ninths over two. Um, so we have uh, minus two thirds plus uh, the square root of 4 ninths is 2 thirds. So minus 2 thirds plus something greater than 2 thirds. So the plus 1 here is going to be positive, right? So lambda plus here is positive. Lambda minus is negative. Lambda minus is negative. So this is, uh, so 1 third, 1 third is a saddle point has one positive eigenvalue, one negative eigenvalue, but then it's unstable, right? So that last um, fixed point is unstable. So we have um, 0, 0 unstable, 0, 1 stable, 1, 0 stable, and 1 third, 1 third is unstable, okay? And that's uh, the one-third, one-third turns out to be a saddle node because it has one positive eigenvalue and one negative eigenvalue.